Want to know what the actual dark side of your cognitive functions is? On the dark, on the light side. And by the way, it's not your so-called inferior function. Then keep watching this video. Welcome back to Type Evolution, where I show you how to evolve through your personality type. I think this is probably going to be one of the most important subjects I will ever discuss. It's something that I recently delved more deeply into and it totally changed my worldview, or at least it really made me realize how important this concept is, where I would even say it's forming the foundation of what Type Evolution is. And we're going to go more into it just in a bit. So, as you are probably aware, there's a light and dark side, light and dark force, and there's so many different names for it. Let me just grab my whiteboard to illustrate. Number one, what is light and dark? I'm going to leave out the first point for now. I'm going to go more into it later. But overall, I can say both the light and the dark sides are strong, right? If you look at it also in history, when you look at it in literature, fiction, the so-called good guys and bad guys are usually on an almost equal level in terms of power. Because if they weren't, they wouldn't be able to really exert much influence. So the dark side is actually strong. The light side is stronger because, as you probably know, it's much easier to succumb to dark things, to the dark side of life, rather than pushing yourself to the light side. It's much more difficult to be on the light side. And I think it even is mirrored in the universe, you know? <laughs> like the, so to speak, black hole has so much power, so to speak. You know, it can suck in the light. Darkness is everywhere and it really takes light to create life. So this is where I go into the next point. When you're on the, on the light side, you are evolving. When you're on the dark side, you are dying. And this might sound a bit extreme, but it doesn't even have to be a physical death. It can just be a psychic or psychological, emotional, mental death. You are slowly dying. And you might not be aware of it. It might not feel like it for you at this moment or in general, but overall you are dying. When you're on the dark side, you're destroying. When you're on the light side, you are growing. When you're on the dark side, it's going down. When you're on the light side, it's going up. Heaven and hell exist in our minds, you know? Heaven and hell are metaphors for our personal heavens and hells. Demonic versus angelic, the same thing. When you are on the light side, you are being angelic. When you're on your dark side, you're being demonic. However, there's also something I would like to call the gray side. And it's not often talked about. But basically, most people are actually up operating from the gray side or in the gray zone. Meaning, they are going back and forth between dark and light. They have a little bit of light and a little bit of dark. Ah, okay. <laughs> they are neither really that dark or that light. But that is not necessarily ideal, in my opinion. I see many people... There's also many people who are on the dark side, obviously, and very few who are on the very light side. So those people who are in the dark side, usually they have a lot of mental disorders, depressions, are psychotic, suicidal, murderous, you know, all these people. They are in operating from the dark side. And what we usually do as a society is to make sure they come back to the gray zone. So usually it's attempted to get rid of the darkness or the dark side aspects. But what happens is by doing so, the person often just reaches some kind of gray level. And they are not really thriving in that gray zone. It's just meh. It's just being the average Joe, the average person, where, it's nothing, where there's, there's nuance at least, but there's not anything higher than yourself. You also have to see it on a spectrum. So you could say most people are either dark gray or light gray, you know, kind of somewhere on the spectrum. But ultimately, based on my 
understanding. Our highest expression can only be found if we move to the lightest version of ourselves or in other words best version of ourselves. But best might also be relative when you just look at oh what does society consider to be the best. That's not really what it means. It's really about going to the lightest most evolved version of your personality and your strengths. So now the question is how does all of this relate to the cognitive functions in Jungian personality type theory? There's this common misconception that your weakest inferior function or shadow function is where your dark energy lies and that's false because your weakest functions don't have enough grasp, not enough awareness to actually create much destruction or much darkness in the world. As I said, both the light and dark sides are strong. Many people mistake the excessiveness of the strongest functions and the following neglect of the weaker function as an expression of the weakest function being stressed. Okay, maybe this is difficult to understand, but basically when you are overdoing a function, which is usually a stronger function, which is usually the first function, when you are overdoing it, naturally you are underdoing the so-called inferior function, which means it's weak and cannot do much. What can you really do with a weak function? For example, Inferior as E is like a kid punching someone. <laughs> Compared to lead as E, expert sensing, is like a bodybuilder punching someone. This is just a metaphor, but this is how I see the inferior versus the lead function. Your lead function and also to some extent some other functions are way stronger. So you will naturally be more inclined to use them also for dark aims or dark goals. So, as I said earlier, it's much easier to be in the dark side and to lean on it than to go to the light side. So what many people do, if they are in a very troubled situation, they will resort to the dark version of their strongest functions because there they can feel powerful. And it's way too difficult to go into the light version for them or they don't have enough awareness to do so. So let's take one type as an example. Let's take ENFJ. According to my understanding of ENFJ and just the natural strengths of ENFJ also in socionics, the strongest functions of ENFJ are extroverted feeling and extroverted intuition actually because they are both extroverts, strong in intuition and strong in feeling. The ENFJ can create the most destruction with FE and NE. And I think this actually applied to Hitler. This is a controversial opinion and a controversial point. Many people think he was an INFJ. Either way, even if he was INFJ, obviously he used his strong extrovert feeling to a very dark aim with a lot of power and dark energy. And of course, also to a bit of a lesser extent, INFJ would also be good at NI and FI, actually. But this is subordinate. <laughs> The FI may be in, um, how you say, like in brackets because it's blocked by the FE. And so the weakest functions of ENFJ are the opposite of FE and NE, right? So that would be TI, introvert thinking, and SI, introvert sensing. As I just said, the ENFJ, the grasp on these functions is way too weak. They are like a child at it. So they cannot do much harm in this area in when it comes to introvert thinking and introvert sensing. So go to my blog, go to my post about the light and dark side of the cognitive functions where I, I have um, provided short descriptions of the light and dark side of each cognitive function, especially when it's strong. So an ENFJ that is operate, operating in the dark side is mostly going to use FE and NE very proficiently, but from the darkest version. And when it comes to TI and SI, they are going to have the least energy or, or force or power in these. 
So when you when you see it on my blog with my descriptions, they are not going. They're gonna lack both the dark and the light aspects of these functions. They're just too weak. As I said, it's way harder to go to the light side. This is why the light side, the highest expression of humanity, the highest evolution, transformation, our purpose, in my opinion, <laughs> the purpose of humanity is lying here and it's stronger and requires more strength. This is why only with the ultimately strongest functions you will be able to create much lightness in the world or much light or exalted transformation within yourself and outside of yourself. So in the case of ENFJ, this would mean when it comes to matters that are related to extrovert feeling and extroverted intuition and introverted intuition, they are going to be the best in those areas. Sometimes even extrovert sensing because sometimes a little bit of the tertiary is possible especially if the person is a certain subtype like the fe subtype then they might also do a bit in that realm sometimes even extra thinking there's like a there's like a ranking okay so but if we focus on the highest strength the highest highest strength it tends to rather be the first function you know then also sometimes the in solitonics it's called the demonstrative then introverted intuition the second function and then there's other functions it kind of depends on the person and on the subtype but this is the overall overview so yeah the person would be advised to go to the light side this is the highest expression and at the moment I call ENFJ the inspirer because inspiration inspiring people is a really good mix of extroverted feeling and intuition you can find the description of that on my blog typevolution.com as well okay so I added a bit more detail here ENFJ no subtype so the average or standard ENFJ they would be able to create the most light in themselves and in the world with their FE, their NE, and their NI. And with FI, it's kind of like in the middle or gray zone. They can do some good and some bad with it, but it's a bit limited. Mostly with these three functions. And they can also do the most darkness with FE, NE, NI, of course, and FI, of course, because these are the strong functions. And then a bit also with SE and TE. You could maybe even add SE and TE in the gray zone here. If I want to be super specific. And TI and SI would just be missing because it just doesn't have enough power. Okay, so as I said, what do you do now? So first of all, this is what I alluded to in a previous video where Jungian type is about self-discovery. You have to accept and discover your true personality type. Many people try to be other personality types. Many people mistake their darkness for weakness. <laughs> so, for example, what I've often seen is people who are actually strong at introverted feeling, so which are IF types. INFJ, ISFJ, INFP, ISFP, and I'm particularly talking about INFP and ISFP here, they will say things like, oh, I'm immoral. I'm very immoral. I don't relate to being moral at all. Like I'm doing all these, I like to have, I have these immoral values or these immoral things I like to do and engage in. And the, the irony or almost funny thing is, they are good at FI and they can wreck a lot of destruction with immoral actions that they do on purpose. Now on the surface or from, from the outside it might look like both the person who is very weak at FI and that particular person are both creating destruction because of FI related issues. But you know, the person who is aware of it, they can use it deliberately. So people who are strong at FI and in the dark side, they can really destroy this person <laughs> in terms of their emotional life on purpose, especially types who also have strong extroverted sensing. So that would be ISFP and ISFJ. 
if they want to. ISFJ rarely does that. ISFP, when they are operating from the dark side, they can do that. They can really destroy someone in terms of um, really attacking someone's vulnerabilities and emotional vulnerabilities especially if they are, as I said, operating from the dark side. So don't mistake this, okay? You have to really acknowledge that you are using certain functions in the dark side and you have to really embrace it up to a point. You have to accept it in the sense that, okay, this is your strengths and this is your personality at the moment. You are currently operating from the dark side if you are meeting a lot of items from the dark side lists on my blog, then you are pretty much very dark at the moment. And But in a way, it's okay if you are willing to work on it and you are accepting it. So what I found with myself, when I was not accepting or acknowledging my dark side, it actually created more issues or more problems. <laughs> and it also makes, it, makes you unable to change it, right? So you still need to have some kind of awareness. In my case, I have to admit, with some of my more recent videos, I was using extrovert feeling from the dark side. I think I was. I remember I was writing the description of extrovert feeling dark side, and I was like, oh my god, I cannot relate to this because I know people, okay, I know people who are extrovert feeling lead, you know, who are obviously much stronger at extrovert feeling than I am. And they are engaging a lot on the dark side and I was like yeah okay this is not me because I cannot I'm not that you know not that bad right <laughs> but then I realized okay well actually some of these reaction videos I was doing I was actually kind of using as word feeling in a negative way I was like mocking you know and I wasn't realizing it at first but it really sunk in and I was like oh my gosh okay and this is why I made those videos unlisted or private or whatever because I realized this is not serving the purpose of type evolution and I know you know it's it can be it can be tempting it's it's so typical the dark side you know it's tempting like oh you get more views or oh, people find this more interesting people are commenting more you know blah blah and I know these videos, they also had some good in them, so they were, let's say, mostly like dark grey, okay? They were dark grey, like they were kind of having light and darkness in them, but overall I think it was a bit too dark. <laughs> and that's why I took them down. And some people were like, why did you do that? And I, and I said, yeah, it doesn't fit the philosophy of type evolution, and the philosophy of type evolution is to really evolve, and you can only do that if you are operating on the light side, or at least attempting to do so. So this is why I took down those videos, because I was using extrovert feeling in a dark way. So, first you have to accept it, you have to realize what you're doing, you have to accept, okay, I'm, I'm having these dark behaviors. The second step, like I did, stop it, you have to stop it. Realize what you're doing and just stop it, drop it. Now, then the next step, this is what I referred to earlier, people, let's say through therapy or other things, learn to drop it but then it, they don't have any equivalent you know they don't do anything that's actually light so then they're just kind of meh they're kind of in the gray zone so they drop the thing but they don't have any other the good thing that um, is a substitute so the key is the substitute has to be the light thing so i as i said i have the light versions on my blog you find it there and at the very end once again, the instincts, the instincts are so important. The instincts in Neogram, you have to meet them. You have to figure out how to meet their needs. So at the, end of, at the end of the day, we often go to the dark side to fulfill our needs, our instinctual needs. But we need to go to the light side to really fulfill them in the best way possible and to bring the most light into the world. One more really, really important thing. If you are surrounded by people who are expressing a lot of the dark traits that you can find on my blog, please you have to be able to either distance yourself from them or just go somewhere else or you know you have to make sure you are surrounding yourself with people or with content podcasts videos blogs books anything that is more on the light side so you can fill up your mind and you can go easier to the light side it's really hard it's kind of like uh when finn was you know, a stormtrooper, and then he had to go to the light side. It was really difficult because he was surrounded by all the stormtroopers, right? So please. And I realized also with myself, 
I'm slipping back into dark side stuff because of the people I was surrounding myself with. If it takes moving, you gotta move. I know it's hard when you are young, but really, if you have to live with your parents or whatever, but really, please, make sure you are limiting your exposure to darkness. I learned that there's type interactions as well, so there are personality types that are less compatible with you. And even if they are operating from the light side, this is going to be a problem. You're just not going to mesh well together. So the worst that can happen is you are surrounded by someone or people who are not compatible with your personality type and who are operating from the dark side. And especially if they are strong at the functions you are weak at. And I realize this can be so destructive. It's, it's terrible. So please make sure that you move away from those people and you go rather towards the people who have a compatible personality type, who have a personality type with the same cognitive functions as you in terms of MBTI and uh, yeah, in socionics, it's the so-called quadra. And they are also operating from the light side or at least attempting to do so or trying to move there. And you can see that they're doing so. Otherwise, it's just, it's just a disaster. And you need to realize also, if you've been a lot around these people and you have been interacting a lot with them, there is something inside of you that is resonating with them, right? So you both need to realize what is resonating inside of you with that dark behavior, but also you need to remove yourself from it and you need to move towards the light side. And once again, it's important to make sure you are realizing what you're doing you're doing your best. We have to break this curse, okay? Most people, most families, too many people have this curse of the dark side. We need to break it. It's <laughs> it's worldwide an issue. And I'm really, really passionate about this. I really want to make sure that more people are realizing what is happening and they're making their best to go to the light side. Okay, that's it for now. Please subscribe, make a comment, like, share if you like this and you can also book a session with me if you want. You find all the information down below. Okay, have a good day. Bye.